It's a sad state when God's people casts away the law of the Lord. New Testament and Old Testament alike. It's a sad state when God's people cast away the law of the Lord. It's God's law. It's righteous. Where do you get your morality from if it's not from God's law? Oh, we're free from the law. Yeah, you're free from the curse of the law if you're in Jesus Christ. But it doesn't mean there is no law. And it definitely doesn't mean that Jesus Christ came to abolish the law. If you read your Bible, you would know that. Matthew chapter 5, verse 17, Jesus himself said, Think not that I am come to destroy the law of the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Amen. Jesus didn't come to destroy the law. But you know what? When God's people forsake the law and they cast away the law of the Lord and they despise the Holy One of Israel, which is Jesus Christ, by the way, then you're going to be judged. And just as God judged his people back then, God will judge his people now, too. If you think you're just going to cast away the law of the Lord and, oh, that Old Testament law, we don't care about that. We're way too loving for that these days. You know what you're doing? You're calling good evil. Because the law of the Lord is good. The law of the Lord is right. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. We're not going to cast away God's law. It's great. It's beautiful. We ought to be meditating on the law of the Lord, as the Bible says in the book of Psalms, and not casting it away and not downplaying and treating it as if, oh, yeah, that's just something they did in the Old Testament. Look, we need the law of the Lord now more than ever. Amen. Jesus continues, verse 18, For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. Guess what? All has not been fulfilled. One jot, one tittle is not passed from the law. Whosoever therefore shall break one of the, these least commandments. This is Jesus speaking, by the way. Whosoever shall break one of the le these least commandments and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. He's not saying you ain't saved. But he's saying if you go around teaching people, Oh, yeah, that's, that's not a big deal. Don't worry about that. It's not a big deal. God doesn't care about that. God doesn't care. God doesn't care if you tithe. God doesn't care about the length of your hair. God doesn't care about these things. You see, that's the least of the commandments. Well, guess what? You're going to be called Mr. Least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. So where's Jesus putting the value on the rewards of people when they get to heaven, on believers when they get to heaven? It's on the people who are doing and keeping the law of the Lord and teaching them and saying, no, let's say the Lord. They're not calling good evil and evil good. They're not turning everything on its head and saying, oh, yeah, well, we don't really need to follow that. Oh, where's your love? Oh, where, you know, look, the Lord's looking for judgment and righteousness. You can't have either of those things without the law of the Lord. Where are you going to get judgment from if, it's not, if you don't have a law to judge? Where are you going to get righteousness from? Well, what's righteous? The law tells us what sin is because anyone who breaks the law is sinning. And if you're not sinning, then I guess you're being righteous. You're doing the right thing. The law is going to tell you right from wrong. 